hello everyone in this video we we'll just uh, um, display you and show you how to validate uh, your uh, registration or sign up or just forum in react.js using formic and yap libraries these two libraries are used for the formic is used for forum handling and the yap is used for forum validation so now i have already validated this forum later we will just display you all the codes and how to perform this validation let's for example for press the submit button see please enter name Please enter email and everything. Okay, don't mind the user interface. Okay, and let's insert a name. See, the error has gone automatically. And let's insert a password, for example, at least five character. See, the error has gone. But if we enter something, password not match. Password not match. Okay, if we enter the correct password, the error should go. What was that password? That is okay. Okay, both are the same now. And also for the email, since insert the email, the error has gone see so now we will perform this validation using uh, react.js and by uh, formic and yap uh, libraries so let's get started before starting if you are new to my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel let's start so this is a simple forum which i have created okay just in name email password and confirm password we have these fields and a, a submit button don't mind the uh, user interface uh, and let's check the code of this okay we have just this as forum and input fields label for name and input field for name then email password and uh, confirm password in a button so this is the code of this simple i have created this uh, it is just html code uh, which, which we have created the, um, the sign up or registration forum so now we will validate it using formic and yap libraries okay the first of all you should install these two libraries so the install for the installation we will come to the um, terminal let's create a new one i will move to the client folder and there we will just npm install formic and yep after pressing enter it will be installed and your um, react app i have already installed them let's check them they come to package.json and we have this is yep okay and this is the formic which we have installed and now let's first of all we will import the first of all the definition of the formic formic is used for forum handling okay formic just handle our forum the app is used for forum validation so now let's uh, first of all we will import the formic for forum handling import formic from formic after importing the formic now let's come here and we will use this formic function okay uh, we will use use formic okay now just formic that is use formic from formic now let's use it use formic inside it we will define our properties okay the first one is that we will um, define or uh, we will just enter our initial values that we have oh let, let's declare a variable for our initial values const initial values is equal to it is an object with us we have name field the default value is an empty string we have email field and password field and also confirm password you should enter the name also in input fields okay these names name 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 email name password and name c password these are important okay you should enter them after that now let's come here to the for use formic and let's inside this we will write initial values as equal to we will assign the initial values variable that we has created previously initial values and the second one property is on submit okay what we want to get from by submitting okay whenever we submit forum what we want to do on submit um, we will just get the values let's console them console.log values that we get from forum uh, this use for make is uh, um, uh, is a basically a custom hooks okay for managing our state and handling events okay this is use for make is used to for managing state and handling events now let's assign this use for make to a variable what happened const for make 
is equal to use formic. What we will get? We will console the formic now. Console dot log formic. Save it. Now let's check it. Okay, this formic. Let's move to the browser. The React app is running. Let's move to the console. Press F12. We can we got this object. Okay. See we how these are all formic uh, properties. Okay, errors and uh, in touched and handle change, handle blur. These are all fields that we can get from use formic. Okay, these are all properties we can get. Now instead of getting data like for example, now we if you want to use the values, okay, of this use uh, formic, we will use formic dot values dot name formic dot values dot. Uh, for example email password but instead of them let's do something else we will distract values from this okay const we will distract all those um, properties that we need distract values handle blur handle change and handle submit after distracting these properties now we will use them let's come here to the input fields so first of all we will use a handle blur on blur okay on blur event and we will call handle blur and after that on change handle change formic will handle all these things okay handle change do the same thing for all other um, input fields we can also assign value okay value value is equal to with values values dot name let's uh, first of all format this document after formatting just copy these three uh, properties from this one and to others paste them here values dot uh, email for the password paste it here values dot password right now it will it will just looks like confusing for you but don't worry at the end you will get a concise fair in photo okay output and uh, this is c password and also now let's um, on submit submit we will handle call handle submit Let's okay now we will check this console dot log dot values. Uh, so we faced with an error. Handle submit. Yeah, that is okay. Let's check it. What is the error that we faced with? It says and cart appearance formic is not defined. Where is formic? Oh sorry, we should remove this now. let's check it now okay let's refresh it let's first of all press the submit button see we got these input fields but right now we don't have anything in these input fields if we enter something like name use of rgmail.com and password something let's press submit button see we got these values okay whenever we submit but the confirm password we don't have anything inside that but these are the fields okay c password is empty but email name and password we have these values whenever we submit okay formic will handle everything but now we will just add uh, validation okay we will just add uh, to check uh, um, with the conditions like the name should be in not should not be less than three and l more than 10 characters and also to validate the email the password and card from confirm password so for that we need to create a separate uh, schema we can create a separate schema or in this file but that is good to create a separate folder and a separate uh, file for that but i will create a separate file for that that is sign up validation validation dot jsx Uh, as we said that the for yep is used for forum here uh, validation so now we will use yep okay to validate the forum so for that uh, let's import first of all yep import steric as yep from yep 
and after that now let's just uh, write export const sign up validation sign up validation is equal to yup dot object and inside that now we will define our fields and validation for that the first field is name with us okay now we will just the name is string type with us yup dot string okay it is string with us dot minimum should be three character okay the minimum should be three character and also it should be required and let's enter uh, a message here please enter name now let's move to the email field email yep dot uh, string that is also string type with us dot email that is email with us and we can enter now a message please enter valid email inside this okay if the email was not valid please enter valid email dot required please enter email now let's move to the password that is also yep dot string and um, uh, for the password to validate it uh, we can create another variable for regular expression so whenever you create a regular expression for example it should be at least one small one capital and a number and um, a special character so for that first of all you should uh, need to create that schema okay you can just search it and you can you will find it after that use dot match with that okay match whenever you use this match then uh, just enter that schema that you see regular expression enter that schema here and this uh, like for example regular expression comma then enter a message here so right now we don't have any regular expression you can search that and create a, a schema for your password validation i will just enter minimum should be five character dot required please enter password now let's move to the confirm password c password it is also yep dot string type and after that it should be matched with this password so for that we need to write dot one of dot one of and inside this now we will just write array and yep dot reference okay reference we will define the reference for that that is password and after that let's insert a message password not matched okay if the password was not matched so it will display this message for us so this is schema you can just extend this schema it depends on you but i wrote this just for uh, the purpose of learning right now so now let's uh, import it inside our app.jsx import sign up validation from sign up validation now we will use this okay so to use it just come here to the use for make function and come here to the validation schema validation schema is equal to with sign up validation now let's uh, distract errors also from this use formic errors okay it will just uh, distract all the errors if the name was empty if the email was if there was error with the password so it will store those various inside these errors now let's display these errors so to display the errors just come here in uh, under this name input fields here we will just display we will write like this okay errors dot name if the errors that name was existed and end we will display now that error we will display like this okay use a small character a small tag and display errors dot name and let's copy this and we will do it for all input fields do it for password also for email and also for the password
and confirm password. See password. See password. Save it and let's move. So close this and let's first of all press submit. See please enter name, please enter email, please enter password and the confirm password. We didn't display the error, so let's check it. C password errors dot C password. Yes, C password. C password and values dot C password. Let's check it. Where is the error? C password and just come here. C password. It means right now. Yeah, yeah, that is okay. Right now, these two passwords are same because both are empty string. So let's write something inside this one, two, three, and now let's press submit. Um, we will we should display now the error here that error has gone but this confirm password error didn't display it's let's yeah let's make it like this now let's check it again didn't display just come here and yeah password didn't match if you write something inside that it means it showed that the password didn't match but uh, we will add the required field also dot required please enter c password save it and now let's move what happened okay c please enter c password and if you write something it means password not matched and now let's move and to add now we will use use a for make forum and field instead of these input fields we will use for make okay let's import first of all for make for make forum and field from for make okay we will use these uh, fields instead of uh, using use for make okay i will remove this use for make uh, hook okay just come here and instead of on the top of this we will use a formic and let's cut it and paste it at the bottom of this forum and inside this formic we will add now um, all these things okay that we have added initial values and validation schema just come here and we will use initial values initial values and also validation schema sorry validation schema sign of validation we can also add on submit and we will call this handle submit but let's now uh, and also instead of this forum using this forum okay we will use forum this forum okay which we have imported from react uh, formic and also instead of input fields we will use field instead of this input fields let's remove this and instead of it we will use field now which we have imported from uh, formic type is equal to text and name is equal to with name and copy now this and paste it here instead of password type is pass email sorry this is email field and email and also just come here to the password field password password control z Control C and paste it instead of confirm password also. C password. And now let's remove this. And one thing else which has remained from us that is errors. Okay, we should uh, display now the errors. We don't have errors object right now. So just come here and here we will get the errors. Errors. We will distract them. Now inside this, we will paste this code. Okay. Cut this code. 
and paste it inside this object okay let's save it and check it what happened see right now let's press submit please enter okay everything let's insert a name the error has gone directly email the error has gone if we enter something wrong like let's remove this please enter a valid email and the password last five characters see that error has gone password not matched the password has matched so this is all about using your uh, formic and yeah for a forum validation in react js i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching this is the code okay